haven't yet used Canva AI tools, what are you waiting for? Canva has a library of almost 100 different AI apps and I have tested every single of them and I made my favorite list. Let me tell you five of them and make sure to use them to level up your creativity in your content creation. To get access to them, go to the canva.com or click on the link in the description. On the left hand side menu, as long as you are signed in in a free account, go to the app section and then AI powered app. Okay, for the very first one, I wanted to show you this Imagine, which turns any text prompt into a realistic AI image. There's another one called Dolly here, made by ChatGPT creators, but this one requires a paid upgrade. I want to use it in a new design and YouTube landscape as my aspect ratio. Okay, as I told you about Dolly, which requires a paid upgrade, I want to explain that as a free user, if I'm not mistaken, you will get three free credits per day. And to use this AI tool, you need just very limited credits. It says only one. So I will go ahead and uh, show you how to work with it. But if you are going to use it more often, you might want to upgrade it to the paid version. Now let's test it together, give it a text prompt. I typed my prompt and I click on generate. See Imogen created my photo and it gave me two options. Let's open them in my project and scale it up. This one is nice, but I like the other one more. And I think as an AI tool, which is almost free, because you saw in the beginning, I had three credits as a free user, and then I use only one of them, and I still have two for creating two more images. Uh, as a free AI tool, I believe it's perfect. Moving on to the next one, font frame. As it says, by this AI tool, you can add an image background to your text by uploading an image or selecting an image from your design. We have an example here, hello world. And notice the actual filling of the text is an actual image. Use it in a new design and YouTube landscape. Working with it is like a piece of cake. You can type your text here. Then adjust the font. Adjust the frame border, the color, and the size. And at the end, you can choose your image file. I can also adjust the image zoom in. So here you can see, let's add it to the design. Next on the list, we have Speed Painter. With this tool, you could simply give an image and it will create a video of speed painting of that same image. Let's try it together. This is so awesome and cool. So easy to use. So choose your image file here. Set the sketch duration. I will put it on 5 seconds. Color fill duration. Again 5 seconds. And at the end hit the generate button. Just be patient and your video will be ready in few seconds. My video is ready and I'll add it to the design. See how amazing it is. You can simply use this tool to add spice to your content. 
Okay, this next one is called Frame Maker. And don't forget to add the space between two words unless it doesn't pop up. As it says, you can generate custom frames easily with Frame Maker. It comes with preset shapes that you can customize and generate your desired shape. So notice simply you can make customized frame and then put any sorts of image in it. Using new design, YouTube landscape. Here you have the frame maker window where you can customize your frame. Then when you scroll down at the very bottom here, we have options we can choose from. I will go ahead and choose a very odd one to customize it together. Other things you need to know is that uh, first of all, you can move these points to create your own frame. The other one is that you can remove a point like this. Or by double clicking, you can add more points. See? Okay, I... changing it this is not a perfect frame but i just wanted to show you how odd your frame can be and you can customize it completely based on your desire and then we will continue and add it to the design you can scale it up or down now in the last step i'm gonna go ahead and upload a photo and fit it exactly perfectly into this frame from the elements okay imagine i want to add this robot image to the frame drag it and drop it here even you can change the scale zoom it in and you can move on and like design your thumbnails I don't know change the background color add fonts and whatever all right next on the list we have colorize It says bring new life into old images by adding vibrant colors, reviving the past with a modern touch. So technically this tool helps you turn black and white images into colored images. Use a new design, again YouTube landscape. Again so simple to use and very helpful. And keep in mind this is completely for free again. So choose your image file, the black and white one. And simply hit colorize image. Look at this, how awesome it is. See, interestingly, it has also added some color to my cheeks, red cheeks, which is very true because it was freezing cold that day. <laughs> 